YouTube's data collection policies have garnered attention from different media groups and government agencies over the past year. The issue has been that YouTube has been collecting data from anyone who watches videos, no matter of their age. Well, this violates COPPA, the Child Online Privacy Protection Act, which bans any websites from collecting data from children under 13 years old. Bloomberg reported this week that YouTube is making more changes to try to comply with these government agencies that are saying they need to change the way they collect data from children. This week's big news is that YouTube will be pulling targeted ads from videos that are geared towards kids. Obviously, any ad that is targeting child viewers on child videos is able to do so because of the data that's been collected from that viewer. Stands to reason that if that viewer is under 13, YouTube has violated COPPA just by gathering whatever information it can to know to play that ad in the first place. The Federal Trade Commission came out earlier this year and said that YouTube had to make some changes, and this is one of them. They've also removed comments from videos that feature children and have made some other changes about how they monetize videos that are appealing to children but may feature dangerous or violent content. There are other ways for YouTube to serve up relevant advertisements to their viewers of any age. One of those is like old school commercials where if you're watching something that has to do with football, play an ad for sports. Or if you're watching something that has to do with a video game, play an ad for some other video game. So using the information that they know just because you're watching the video, not because of your user profile or any data they've collected on you, they're able to target an ad based on your interests because obviously you're interested in makeup tutorials because you're watching one right now. Experts don't expect those who are complaining about the way YouTube collects data to be satisfied with any form of advertising that targets children, but this is a step in the right direction. As for us as parents, here's what this means. First of all, YouTube has always said that they don't recommend their regular site for children. They say that's why they made YouTube Kids. Now, YouTube Kids, they say, has never used targeted ads, except for the kind I mentioned earlier that uses the video you're currently watching to identify what kind of ads to serve you. But even that app has had issues with negative or inappropriate content coming through and making it through their filters. The issue is that all of this stuff is done with software algorithms and artificial intelligence. There are oftentimes not people looking at these videos to see if they're good or bad or to see if it's collecting the wrong kind of data unless it gets flagged enough for YouTube to be notified and alerted. These changes are really going to impact Google's bottom line. Uh, they say though that there's other changes they could make that would impact it even worse, so they're trying this first. Only time will tell if they have to make more changes, and really what's going to establish that is the response that parents, educators, and tech safety experts have to this change that YouTube is making. My recommendation is that your kids only watch YouTube when other adults are watching with them. Or maybe on your TV using something like Chromecast or Apple TV, only showing YouTube videos where everyone can see or only allowing them to watch videos that you've put on a playlist for them yourself, especially if they're younger, can ensure that they're going to be a lot safer and not come across content that's inappropriate. The whole YouTube versus YouTube Kids issue is kind of the epitome to me of what it means for tech companies to put out content for children. And it should become very clear to us as parents that they're doing so to protect themselves more than to give your kids a safe place to watch videos. You see, if they don't collect advertising information on YouTube Kids, and they do on YouTube the website, they're definitely going to encourage you to only allow your kids to watch YouTube on the Kids app, because it protects them from the mess they're in right now. Do I recommend letting your kids use YouTube Kids instead of regular YouTube? Yes, that is a step I recommend you take. I also recommend that even if it's YouTube Kids, they're not sitting with a tablet, phone, or computer in their lap watching videos where no one else can see what they're seeing. Most of this stuff has to be seen by thousands or hundreds of thousands of people and flagged before it gets pulled down for having inappropriate content. This means some of our kids can see this stuff before it goes away. Thank you for watching. I'm Michael Prince with becausefamily.org and familytechblog.com. You can visit becausefamily.org slash partnership to learn how to support our ministry and partner with us as we help more families be internet safe and smart. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.